I know it's been a long time since I've done the vlog, but anyways, right now we're outside AutoZone. My light bulb for the brakes don't work. So I am going to replace it myself and it's about time I show you guys uh, me working on my own car and doing things here and there. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing safe day and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're looking for the tail lights. 921LL. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the light bulb. We basically need to fix the brake light just for this side. Alright guys, I know my hair is a bit messy. We got the GTI right here. We got the My Golf right here. But anyways, we are going to change the light bulb. 921s, um, long life. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change the light bulb or replace it on a Mark 6 Golf. So basically on this side, the only thing that works is the reverse light and the turn signal. But when I break, it does not work. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it. So what you wanna do, if you have a Mark 6 Golf, I don't have a screwdriver or anything. It's not really necessary. So what you wanna do is just take this part off right here. Just have it off like that. And then you see this thing right here. You just wanna push it down and then you'll see the screw and you'll also see this right here the wire thing so what you want to do first is unplug it all right so i unplugged it and now i'm going to unscrew this all right so apparently i made it harder on myself i was turning it right instead of left i know it was a stupid mistake but anyways uh, of course you want to turn left left for lucy and uh yeah cell lights out as you can see, easy. And so I'm gonna turn it around and show you guys what you wanna do next. All right, bring in the here in the light. So as you can see, it's nothing but pins here. All you wanna do is just pull it out, but it looks like someone has already done something like this before. Got a little spider web there, you know. But it has little pins. So all you wanna do is just unpin them and it'll be easy to pull off. The so we got the pins here, just want to pull it off. This part right here is going to be tricky. Because as you can see, all you have to do is pull the pin sides off, but it's this part right here. And so this is the light bulb right here that I'm replacing. And if you want to replace this light bulb, your brake light for a like 2010 to 2014 golf which is the mark six you want to get the 921s and this is it right here so i'll be replacing that but you want to be careful when you take off the light bulb because you don't want it to break and luckily for me i have on gloves all right so it'll be this one just unscrew it it should pop right off all right so all you gotta do is just wiggle it gently as you can see, I got this not sponsored. Uh, sorry about that, like that dark. All right, there we go. Just like this, just a little bit gently, gently. There, snap right in place. All right, so we pop this back in place, and as you can see, you're just going to reverse what you did. There's other tutorials on YouTube if you want to get a better, clear perspective, but this is just from me, my personal experience. It's easy. All right. Make sure it's pushed in. And you want to snap everything back together. All right. So, see this right here? I don't know if you can. You should be able to. But right there, you can see that little hole. That's where you're going to snap this little thing in. And so it's easy. It's like Legos. Just put it back together. I don't want to drop the tail light. But yeah, we're just going to clip this, this part. We're going to clip it in there. Alright, so it's back in place. 
Now all we have to do is take this, screw it back in, this time on the right. And then after we screw it in, we will plug this in. All right, so yeah, just turning it right, right and tight. All right, now it's screwed in. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in. And then after that, we're gonna test it. Sorry about that. Let's just plug it in. Oh, it's just on the wrong. All right, clipped in, screwed back in. Make sure it's tight. All right, now let's try it and see if it works. But make sure this is tight. Make sure you tighten it back up. That because this one thing affects holding the light. So, but yeah, it's really strong. So just make sure you tighten it back up. Right. Just want to make sure it's not moving because you don't want it to fall off while you're driving, but it's good. Also, check out my neighbor's GTI. I'm not going to show his license plate, but it's clean. I've actually driven one before, but it was four door, but it was the same color. All right, now this part might be a pin in the butt, but all you have to do is find the pins right here and just clip it back in. Clipping that thing in is a pin in the butt, but you want to make sure you do it because if not, if it rains, your wires could be screwed. Anyways, let's check it out. All right, brake light finally works. But yeah, on the right side, it was just the turning signal and the uh, rear, I mean, the reverse that worked. But now both sides work. Well, this was the only problem, but now it worked. But anyway, guys, I hope this solves your problem. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more automotive content. Uh, about to head to the store. Um, I will be doing more automotive content, of course. Uh, shout out to Autobody, you know. I have fun. I miss Edison uh, at the Autobody shop with my friends, but... I'm going to continue to do on the car stuff as always. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more and thanks for watching. Peace, my Night Crusaders.